Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about some more O-level maths questions, uh, specifically from the chapter of algebraic manipulation. So let's get started. For this, I am going to share my whiteboard. All right, okay, so I've shared my whiteboard. Let's talk about what exactly algebraic manipulation means. Um, here you would be having different algebraic expressions. It could be a fraction, it could be a simple algebraic uh, equation, it could be a simple algebraic expression. And you are just supposed to simplify that by canceling the numerator or denominator or just by, uh, you know, adding up like terms, things like those, just so we can easily deal with that quadratic expression, right? So this is the idea about algebraic manipulation. All right, so I am going to write down an example for this one, just so we are clear with the idea. Okay, we are discussing All right, so this is the topic we would be talking about today. And for this, I am going to write down a few questions which are going to help us in the understanding of this topic, okay? So let's get started, all right. So let's talk about example number one for this one. Here's example number one. It is X divided by five plus two X plus one divided by three. All right, so this is the first question. I've picked up some random questions from different past paper questions. And again, for this topic, we are going to convert this expression to a simplified algebraic expression, okay? So we have a specific uh, method for doing so. Let's do that. All right, so step one, if you have two fractions and if the sign between them is plus or minus, you need to take the LCM of the denominators, okay? So this time around, the sign between the two fractions is plus. So I am going to take the LCM of the denominators just so the denominators are same and then I can add the numerators, okay? So. The LCM is going to be five multiplied by three, that is 15. So I will be uh, multiplying five by three. So I will be multiplying X by three. Then three would be multiplied by five. And here this expression would also be multiplied by five. So I can write down the numerators now. It would be three X plus five into two X plus one. I'm just going to simplify this. It would become 3x plus 10x plus 5 divided by 15. And this would give me 13x plus 5 divided by 15. All right. So in the beginning, uh, we had two fractions and the two fractions were added. And finally, we have one fraction. So the idea behind algebraic manipulation is just this. You would be having a, an algebraic expression. It could be quadratic, it could be linear, it could be cubic. At your level, it would be linear, okay? And you are just supposed to simplify that if we have two fractions and things would be a bit complicated, but if you have a simple algebraic statement, you're just supposed to add the like terms and just, you know, write them together. And that would give you a simplified version of what you had originally. So now, obviously, one thing is clear that I can easily see that this is obviously difficult compared to this, right? So that is the idea behind algebraic manipulation. All right, I'll clear the screen and we will talk about another example just so we are clear about the 
variety of questions the examiner can ask you. Okay, um, the second one is, x y by four minus two divided by y. All right, so this is the second question we will be discussing. Okay, Achha. so here again, you have a fraction. Uh, I've told you for fractions, we have certain cases. It's different for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. For the first two examples, we have discussed plus at the first one. And here we have a minus sign. So I'll tell you how things are over here. This is a minus sign. I've told you in the very beginning, whenever two fractions would have a plus or minus sign between them, the rule is same, the method is same, you're supposed to take the LCM of the denominators, okay? So here the uh, denominators are four and y. So the LCM is going to be four y. Now, I need to multiply y here. So I will be multiplying y in the numerator as well. I need to multiply four here in order to get four y. So I will be multiplying four here as well. So this would give me x y squared minus eight. Okay, so I can clearly see that the two fractions can be written this way. And obviously this is a simplified version of what I had originally in the question. So this is the best thing about algebraic manipulation. We are able to convert a fraction or any algebraic expression into a simpler form that would be easy to deal with, right? Okay, this was the second one. Now we will talk about the third example over here. All right, this is the third example and it is four y squared divided by 9x multiplied by 3x squared divided by 2y. All right. So this is the third example and the third type of the questions which the examiner can ask. Okay. Right. So this time around, the situation is different. We have a multiplication sign between both the fractions. I would want all of you to be clear with the idea whenever we have plus or minus, we're taking the LCM. That is only for plus and minus sign. Whenever we have multiplication and division, the steps and the working is different. Okay, for multiplication, it is the most easy case. You're just supposed to multiply the numerators and the denominators and that would give you the correct answer. So again, here we have multiplication, so I would be multiplying the numerators. So 4 multiplied by 3 would give me 12. y squared and x squared would come as it is. It is divided by 9x multiplied by 2y. So the denominators would be multiplied as well. 9 multiplied by 2 would give me 18 and x multiplied by y would just give me xy. Finally, I am done. I can see, I told you in the beginning that in algebraic manipulation, we would want to get the simpler version of any algebraic expression, right? So for the simpler version, we are just going to cancel out things just so we have a simpler version. So x squared and x can be canceled, y squared and y can be canceled, and this is 6 multiplied by 2 is 12 and 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. So finally, I am going to get 2xy or 2yx divided by 3. This is going to be the answer. Now, you can clearly see that what we had in the beginning and what we have now are very, very different. They're equivalent. They are same. Both have the same mathematical or the numerical value, but this expression which I got after simplification is very, very easy to understand compared to what I had in the beginning. So this is basically a minor difference in uh, these um, questions. Okay. All right. Let's talk about another one. This was the third type. Let's talk about the fourth type then.
Right. Uh, so in the fourth type, we have division 3x divided by 4. And then the division sign. And then x by 4. Okay. So this is the fourth and the last type of the questions we have in algebraic manipulation. And for this one, we need to understand one thing. Now, this is the fourth type. In addition and subtraction, we had to take the LCM of the denominator. In case of multiplication, we were multiplying the numerators and we were multiplying the denominators. For division, things are different. So step one is going to be, I will be writing down the first fraction as it is. 3x by 4 would come as it is. This division would be converted to multiplication. And I will be taking the reciprocal of this fraction that would be 4 by x. Reciprocal basically means I will be switching or swapping the numerators and the denominators. So x by 4 would become 4 by x. Now, I can cancel 4 and 4. I can cancel x and x. And this is going to give me 3. So this would be the answer. So this is basically the last or the fourth type of the questions that you would be dealing with or which the examiner would uh, test you for. Here we had the division sign between two fractions. In case of division, first fraction would come as it is. Division would be converted to multiplication. And the next fraction or the second fraction would basically be changed. We will be taking the reciprocal of the existing fraction. For example, here we had x by 4. And after taking the reciprocal, we got 4 by x. So this is going to be the case, right? And after simplifying, I got 3. So this is basically the fourth type. All right. Now let's talk about some more questions just so we are able to practice the idea behind these questions easily. So now these are some, uh, you know, random examples that we would be doing here. Let me just write them down. All right, okay, so here we have these three uh, types of uh, questions which we need to discuss. The types are same, but we have three different examples basically. All right, so let's talk about the first one. Again, we have two fractions and between these two fractions, we have the multiplication sign. So I will be multiplying the numerator with the numerator. So it would give me 2am and I would be dividing it by now I will be I will be multiplying the denominator. So 4b multiplied by 5 would give me 20 b. All right. Okay. So this would be the answer. I need to simplify it further because I know that this is algebraic manipulation. So I will be canceling this with this, and it would become a m by 10 b. So this is the simplified version of what I had in the question originally. All right. Okay. So let's talk about the second question then.
Okay, now in the second question, again, I have multiplication, but this time around the fractions are not very simple. We have x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 2, divided by x plus 7, multiplied by x plus 7, divided by x minus 2 into x minus 3. Okay, so I can cancel out these two. And I am left with x plus 4 into x plus 2, divided by x minus 2, into x minus 3 and this is going to be the answer i'm not supposed to do any other thing that is it i would not be multiplying expanding and then simplifying it no this is going to be the final thing and the last is basically this one again we have multiplication so the numerator would be multiplied with the numerator it would become y power 5 divided by y plus 3 multiplied by y minus 2 and this is going to be the final answer. So these were some questions from the chapter of uh, algebraic manipulation where we had to convert fractions into simpler versions which were more understandable, right? So if you need uh, more help, if you have any queries, any things that you would like to ask, please feel free to ask me directly. You can use the link in description to get yourselves enrolled for the live classes. All right, so that is it. Then I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Take care and love us.